What is up YouTube? It is your boy King Wavy, King of the Effects, the trillest dude on YouTube. Back with another video, back with another one for y'all today. And this video is going to be a little bit something different. But before we even get into this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload. Alright, so in this video we're going to be talking about 2K and their top years man their prime years man starting from nba 2k 10 this is when they introduced my career and i know anybody who played this game when they first found about my career they were so hyped you're able to make a player that looks like you and upgrade his attributes accordingly as you play the game and this game mode is actually a little bit more challenging than the rest of the 2k years because you can actually go to the d league if you did not play good and tell and i'm telling you this now Hall of Fame was very, very difficult. That was pretty much it with the 2K10, you know, um, <laughs> pivotal years, man. It was great. I enjoyed playing it. All right, let's get into 2K11. 2K11 actually didn't introduce too much stuff different. Of course, the game was fun. The graphics actually improved a little bit, and you're able to play with a lot more teams, of course. And uh, this is when LeBron James was with the Heat, so everybody was playing with the Heat. That team was unstoppable. I remember playing this game with my cousins, uh, playing it by myself. And uh, this is, I think this is when I first got a PS3. I think I got a PS3 when this game came out. Or I was about to get one. But this game was so fun. This is when 2K still made games for the PS2 also. <laughs> Believe it or not, they still made games for the PS2. The graphics did not even look close to this. <laughs> but the graphics still look good in this game, as you can see. LeBron James looks like LeBron James. Kobe looks like Kobe. And it was so funny. When they had made-up players, they just had a made-up face. Or, you know, sorry. If they had, like, a non-important NBA player, they just made up a face. They didn't even use their real faces <laughs> that's what's so funny to me but in 2k12 they improved the my career players they improved the game mode a little bit as you can see there is a cut scene <laughs> our first cut scene in my career because they used to just call you on the phone and talk to you you actually wouldn't even see your coach you would just see him on your phone if you guys remember this you know what i mean and we thought that was, you know, game breaking, man. We thought this was game breaking. And you actually got to choose what you wanted to say. <laughs> man, back in these good old days, man. Back in the good old days. And this time, NBA Live was not even making games. They actually, you know, dropped down in their games. They weren't making any good games. Their last good game was NBA Live 10 at the moment. But let's go ahead and get into NBA 2K13. This was a pivotal year for NBA 2K franchise. And the reason why this game was so great is because they introduced a new game mode. This game mode was called My Team. He's got some legends on his team and now I'm jealous. And this game was pretty funny. We didn't have a scoreboard. The scoreboard glitch is still here. It wasn't fixed. But after this game, I decided that I wanted to mix my team. But you did have to spend money to make a good team. I remember watching YouTubers, and this actually introduced, you know, new channel content. A lot of people developed their channel just off this game mode, got millions of subscribers, and made this into a career playing this game mode. So 2K did a really good job. I still enjoy playing this game mode from time time but let's go ahead and get into NBA 2k14 this is when the new next generation game systems came out and they introduced an all new engine to the game You can make your dude look just like you. And look at this gameplay, man. You could just dunk on people, man. <laughs> In my opinion, 2K14 
was the best 2K game, you know, of all time. Of all time. Because it was just so fun. The graphics were so good. You can see the sweat on their body. And it's actually a montage of my old videos, man. But uh, let's get into NBA 2K15. This is where <laughs> the parks got a little bit better. And the player models got a little bit better. You can actually travel to people's different parks. I forgot to mention in 2K14 that they introduced the parks. Of course, they introduced the parks in 2K14. And then in 2K15, they actually introduced River City, Flyers, and Sunset Beach. And of course, I went to Sunset Beach because I'm in Florida. But the game was so much better in 2K15. I just... It's either 2K14 or NBA 2K15. <laughs> because everybody was cheesing in 2K15, man. Demi guys, my career, my team. They actually had the whole enchilada. There was nothing really wrong with this game. Perfect graphics, perfect game modes, and a lot of cheese, man. I know y'all boys like lots of cheese. That's the name of the game in 2K15. Hey, but let's get into the next game nba 2k 16 man that commentary because that thing was so nice i lost the ball but look at this look at omar the greatest he makes it <laughs> i had another gameplay for y'all right here i'm kind of mad at the same time because i just had the best commentary in the whole world and look at that dunk i had the best commentary in the whole world this game was actually a beast they had totally new graphics. The graphics were great. My career, great. Park mode, great. But of course, 2K introduced a lot of patches that, you know, took away a lot of, uh, as you can say, cheese that people love to do. And of course, everybody knows this cheese as speed boosting. You know, I can't lie, man. Speed boosting was really fun, man. Especially when you can do it. Like, I made my, my point guard right like a week after they patched no a week before they patched this so only had a week to actually speed boost because before i had a small four and everybody knows that last year small fours were trash you had to make a point guard or a center just to be good but we all don't know the name of the game then the game became trash but 2k said that this year 2k 17 was going to be the year of greatness uh, how wrong they were of course they introduced new parks <laughs> we got the after dark man we have uh, new park rules we got a new layout of uh, <laughs> of rivet city and flyers it's not flyers but uh, sunset beach but eh, this game I'm not having fun with it of course <laughs> the graphics don't even look better they look worse to be honest but uh Hey, 2K, man, you actually went forward Ever. in your games and you went backwards. I can't even say too much to this game because it's like they added stuff, but they didn't add anything. It just got worse. There's no more speed boosting. <laughs> all the arch, arch types are all messed up, man. They're all backwards. But, you know, I can't really complain, you know. It's a game. Hopefully, they'll get better in the future. Hopefully, 2K18 will improve. But, you know, that's pretty much it for this game, <laughs> for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't. It's your boy, y'all. Yeah. Why you, why you keep that tool like that? Why you more like that? I hit the club 50 D.